Hey and welcome, I'm Laura Live Namastram Yoga. Take a yoga break with me. So we're going to start off standing and we're actually going to stay standing throughout this practice. So if, for example, you're at work and you've just got a little break, you may not want to get down on the floor. So let's just step out wide. If you've got a yoga mat and you can take off your shoes for that grippiness, great. If you don't, you know, do the best you can, but it is sometimes nice to have your feet really anchored. Feet parallel here, and we're just gonna do a simple forward fold to start. So bring your hands to your waist and allow yourself to fold down and go slow. There's no rush here. Take yourself down, let your head hang. And once you get about halfway down, you can release your hands to the floor. So simple, prasrita pada tanasana. Let your head hang. Shift your weight forward, lift the quads, open the backs of the legs. Let your head release. And you can nod and shake the head here a little bit. Maybe swaying from side to side. Just feel how as you spend a little time here, you can release more and more. So we don't hold poses just to hold them in stillness. We hold them because as we spend more time, we start to let go and be able to give in. And that's where the stretch starts to happen. Bring your hands to your waist and come on up and let's take a, a twist. We're just going to come up about halfway. Lengthen the back of the body and then take your left hand over to your right leg. Take the right arm up and turn open, but keep lengthening your spine. So reaching your head away from your tail as you reach your right arm up. And then switching sides, so right hand to left leg, left arm up, twisting open. If you can, keep your hips pretty level here. And then come back to center, hands to your waist, float up. Let's turn to the right foot. We're just going to do a high lunge. So let yourself come up off the back heel, onto the ball of the foot, lunge into that right leg, reach the arms up. And then we're just going to do a little straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. If you want to work with the breath, inhale as you come up. Exhale as you sink down, inhale up, and exhale, sink down, and we're going to take another twist here. So now if you can, take your left arm outside of the right leg, bring your palms together, pressing them in front of the heart, and turn your torso. And then come on up. Let's just pivot around with the feet. So pivot, 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 turn to the other side. Starting with that high lunge. Because the back heel is not down, this does actually require a bit of balance. So as you look forward, see if you can find a single point to look at. Lunging into the front knee, reaching through the back leg. So that back leg is really straight and then the arms can go up. And then just this little bit of movement. So inhale, straighten the front leg by pushing the heel forward and down. Exhale, lunge. Something like this is why you may want to be on a mat or have bare feet because otherwise our feet, sometimes if you're on the carpet or something, they're going to slip out from underneath you. One more time. Straighten and then bend and let's do the twist. Now we're gonna to go to the left, so bring your right elbow all the way around, press the palms. And come back up and let's step the feet together. Let's take a little balance practice. So simple tree pose, standing on the right foot. 
Use your hands to help you bring the sole of the left foot either to the inner calf or fully above the knee to the inner thigh. Steady your gaze at a single point ahead of you. So again, with the balance, it's gonna to help to look ahead. Bring your palms together in front of the heart. Tune in. See if you can connect to your breath. And feel your foot on the floor, on your mat. Our feet are not just a single point, right? So we have edges to our feet you can feel all around your heel, you can feel the difference between the pinky toe side and the big toe side of the ball of the foot. So as you notice all those places on the foot, it feels like you've got a little more stability, a little bit of room that if you sway a little bit, you can still catch yourself. All right, let's just let that go and switch to the other side. So left foot down, use your, right, your hands to bring that right foot up inner thigh or to the calf, but try not to have the foot against the inner knee because, uh, you know, that's a joint and we don't want to push on it and make it bend the wrong way. Stay with your breath here as well. It's so grounding sometimes to spend just a little bit of time in balance. Slows us down. Release that foot. We're going to step out wide again, and this time we're going to come to warrior two. So turn the right toes open. Front heel aligns with back arch. Bring your arms out and then lunging into that right knee. Hips and shoulders stay aligned, and then turn your head and look over the right fingers. From here, we're going to do a little flow between reverse warrior and extended side angle. So turn the front palm up. Keep your eyes on your fingertips as you reverse your warrior. Keep the lunge going forward in that front knee. And then bring your right forearm to your thigh. Take your left arm overhead for extended side. And then we're going to go back and forth with the breath. Inhale, reach back, but keep the lunge going the whole time. Exhale, extended side. And notice your gaze now goes to that top arm. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side. Now, one more time, we're gonna reverse, and then we're gonna straighten the front leg, and then we're gonna exhale into triangle pose. Trikonasana, keep the sides of the body long, legs really strong here. Shoulders stack, turn your head to look up towards your top thumb. and float up and we're just going to switch the feet around again to do the other side front heel and back arch align hips are level as you bend the knee the hips stay level as the knee bends out over the toes arms out at shoulder height look over those front fingertips breathing here the lunge will continue to deepen as we cycle back and forth between these next poses so turning the front palm up inhale reverse warrior Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended. And then just follow the pace of your own breath here, working with a new jai if you like. And one more time, we'll reverse. Straighten the front leg, and then move into triangle, trikonasana. Float up. And let's turn the toes out here and bringing the palms together, just bend the knees over the toes. Maybe play a little bit with lifting the heels, lower them down, lift the heels, lower them down, lift and lower, lift. 
and lower and then root down, straighten the legs, come up. We're gonna turn back to the right leg. We're actually gonna come to warrior one now. So anchor your back heel down, reach the arms up and then from warrior one, transitioning to humble warrior. So hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, shoulder blades back and down. Anchor your back heel and let the upper body sink. Still lunging, drop your head, drop your torso, breathe. Come on up, head to the other side, pivoting to the left, set up your warrior one, hips are squared now to the short edge of your mat in warrior one, reach the arms up, lunge deep, and then hands behind the back, see if you can lace the fingers the other way this time, and sink down, humble warrior. and then come back up. Let's step both feet together. Actually, we'll keep them about hip distance apart, but you know, aligned here. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, lift the heart. Exhale, swan dive forward over the legs. And we're just gonna flow up and down for a couple more breaths, bend the knees at the bottom. Inhale, roll up, reach the arms. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, come up. Dive down, come on up. And then staying up for a moment, we're gonna go ahead and root into the feet, bring the hips forward, bend the elbows, lift the heart, little back bend. Make sure this isn't crunching your low back, right? If you need to, you can also Anchor your hands on your waist. Hold two more breaths. And then coming up easy, all the way to a forward fold. Let your head hang. Again, you could grab your elbows here if you like, or maybe bringing your hands behind your calves and just drawing yourself in gently. And then release and roll up. Take your shoulders back and down. And this really was just a little yoga break, but hopefully it is enough to be refreshing so that you feel good and you can go back to your day with a little more ease and calm in your body. Thank you so very much for practicing with me today, albeit briefly. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more yoga. I usually teach longer full length or, uh, you know, at least 40 minutes or so vinyasa style practices. Like this video. If you did like this short form, give me a thumbs up and leave any questions or comments you might have for me below as well. Take care. Thank you so much for joining me and namaste.